How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Car Collection and we are back with another Through the Mail Tuesday video. We've got 10 more returns to look at over here. We're going to start in North Texas, Texas, Dallas, Texas. Hope everybody's weeks are starting off well. Your mailboxes are full and this one is super thin. Let's see what's inside. We have Jet Williams. That's pretty cool. That's a good autograph too. Look at that. Personalized. Still very nice Bowman Chrome car there. Jet Williams. He was the 14th pick in the 2022 MLB draft to the Mets, as you see here. And ever since he's been drafted, he's been a pretty good prospect. You see here, number 70 or the number 74 prospect. Was this in 2023? 23, yeah. And I'm pretty sure this year, watching all the uh, the top 100s come out, he's a top 50 across the board prospect. I think some even have him as high as like the mid 20s. So really nice return there from Jet Williams. Sent this out quite a while ago. Let's see here. Sent it out to the St. Lucie Mets, Port St. Lucie, Florida. And it took 203 days to get back. One out of one success from Jet Williams. Very nice. Good to see a current player signing. Let's go to Tampa, Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida next. This envelope's a little ripped up. There's a hard card inside. We have Dion James on an 88 Fleer. Very nice. An 89 Fleer and an 89 Tops. Check those out. Three out of three from Dion James. Playing the majors with the Brewers, the Braves, Cleveland, the Yankees, and then played a little bit in Japan. He hit 288 in his MLB career with 32 home runs and 266 runs batted in. Mr. Dion James got back to us. Three out of three success. Looks like we got 104 days. So thank you, sir, Mr. Uh, Dion James, for your autograph. Let's put these down here. Next one is from Oakland, California. Oakland, California. What is in here? Dennis Eckersley on the rookie. Very cool. That's 76 tops. Very clean. Cut this card for just a couple dollars. It's not in the best shape, but happy to get it autographed. And then we got here a Fleer. I think this is an up. No, just a normal Fleer from 1985. Yep, 85. Very cool there with the Cubs. No mustache to a stash. Confused face on both cards. But Dennis Eckersley. Played, of course, for Cleveland, the Red Sox, the Cubbies, the A's, the Cardinals, and then a final season with the Red Sox. He was a first ballot Hall of Famer in 2004, was a six-time All-Star, won an MVP award and a Cy Young award in the same year in 1992, won a World Series in 1989 with those Oakland A's, led the MLB in saves twice, pitched a no-hitter. The A's have retired as number 43 as part of the Red Sox and the A's Hall of Fames. And as we said, the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2004. Mr. Eckersley got back to us two out of two success, 14 days, $10 fee per signature. Put that rookie card up. Very cool. Go to Atlanta Metro. here we have a gunslinger we got danny bugs on a 1985 tops usfl card i like that daniel bugs right there first time getting mr bugs He's of course an alumni of west virginia university where he was an all-american in 1973 and ended up playing for the giants the redskins and the buccaneers went on to also Play for the Edmonton Eskimos, where he won the Grey Cup in 1980. 
in his NFL career, though. He scored four touchdowns with 1,500 receiving yards and 110 receptions. He was a speedster. Mr. Danny Bugs got back to us. One out of one success, 14 days. Very cool to get a USFL card signed. Let's go to Sacramento, California next. This one is super thin as well. Similar to that Jet Williams return. A wheat Dusty Baker. Nice. 84 tops. Look at that blue ink. Man, fresh Sharpie. And then a 2006 tops. One from his playing days. One from his managerial days. Dusty Baker, of course, retired this year after being the Astros manager. He's now in the, I don't know if you call it the front office. I guess he has front office of the San Francisco Giants kind of going back home to uh, Sacramento, closer to home. But, man, he had a heck of a, a career as a player and a manager. Probably, most likely, a future Hall of Famer. At least I'd hope so. Definitely deserving. But play for the Braves, the Dodgers, the Giants, and the A's. They went on to manage the Giants, the Cubbies, the Reds the Nationals, and the Astros. As a player, he hit 278 with 242 home runs and 1,013 runs that batted in. As a manager, he won 2,183 games, was a three-time NL Manager of the Year, and of course won the World Series in 2022. Also won another, though, with the Dodgers in 1981 as a player. He's also a two-time All-Star, and an NLCS MVP, Mr. Dusty Baker got back to us. Two out of two success, 221 days. I did send this off to the Astros, and that 84 Tops card is nice. Let's go to Phoenix, Arizona next. We have Jay Bell. Pretty cool. 88 Donruss there. Nice. This is a 2002 Topps Chrome Refractor. That is cool. Then an 89 Donruss. And another 88 Donruss. A little bit different here. I'm not as educated on the difference between these orange. Oh, we got a little ink loss there on the back of that card. Must have came, I don't know which one it came off of though. They all look pretty, all these signatures look pretty good. I don't know where the ink loss came off of, but two different 88 Tops cards. But J Bell, yes, I love that refractor. Played for Cleveland, the Pirates, the Royals, the Diamondbacks, and the Mets. Of course, won that World Series in 2001 with those Diamondbacks. He was also a two-time All-Star, won a gold glove. And a Silver Slugger Award. He hit 265 in his MLB career with 195 home runs and 860 runs batted in. Mr. J. Bell got back to us. Four out of four success. 24 days. Love those refractors. And we have, looks like a faded Richmond VA. Tracy Woodson. Got him there in the 89 tops. The 89 tops and the 88 Donruss. I don't think he played in the majors that long. Um, and I don't really send duplicates, but pretty cool he signed it. Tracy Woodson. Played for just the Dodgers in, this car in the Cardinals in his MLB career. Highlight, though, was he was a part of the 1988 World Series championship team with those Dodgers. In his MLB career, he had 247 with five home runs and 50 runs batted in. Mr. Tracy Woodson got back to us three out of three success. Nine days. Put these down here and go to Miami, Florida next. Hard card in this one. We have Luis Salazar. Very cool. We got going on here. Got Mr. Salazar backwards, backwards. They are signed though. Okay, 84 tops. And then a 1990 Leaf. Excuse me, 1991 Leaf. I always get those two mixed up. But check that out. Luis Salazar. Don't really know if I see too many successes from him, but 
figured I'd send it out. He had a pretty good career there. He's actually part of the Venezuelan Baseball Hall of Fame, inducted in 2011. Play for the Padres, the White Sox, the Tigers, and the Cubs. He think he had three different stints with the Padres. Really liked his time there. Uh, hit 261 with 94 home runs and 455 runs batted in. Mr. Luis Salazar got back to his two out of two success in just 14 days. A little bit surprised to see these come back. Happily surprised, of course. Put these down here. Sorry to cover up a little bit of J Bell. We're going to Columbus, Ohio next. Two to go. Hard cart in this one. We have. Larry Johnson, hitting the camera. Boom, got that 2005 Topps Chrome Refractor, and then a 2007 Topps Chrome Refractor. Very nice from Larry Johnson, former Penn State and Chief running back. Whew. Played for the Chiefs, the Bengals, the Redskins. And the Dolphins after playing Penn State, where he was a All-American, All-Big Ten, Doak Walker Award winner, Maxwell Award winner, Walter Camp Award winner. <laughs> then went on to be a first-round pick, 27th overall to those Chiefs in 2003, where he was a two-time Pro Baller, one-time first-team All-Pro, one-time second-team all pro. I think he still holds the records for most rush attempts in a single season, but scored 55 rushing touchdowns in his NFL career with six receiving touchdowns, over 6,000 rushing yards. Mr. Larry Johnson got back to us. Two out of two success, 16 days. Love these cards. Love getting refractors back. There we go. One more to go. Orlando, Florida is where we end it. See what's inside. And another refractor. This has been out of wild. Richard Hidalgo. Whew. Got two refractors here. A 98 and a 2005. A little bit of ink loss there on the 98, but still pretty cool from Richard Hidalgo. He had a phenomenal arm out there in right field. But played for the Astros, the Mets, and the Rangers. Where he had 269 in his MLB career with 171 home runs and 560 runs batted in. Again, great arm out there in right field. Pretty good power hitter. Mr. Hildago got back to us. Two out of two success. 224 days. Pretty good week of returns. Hard to beat an Eckersley rookie. Hard to beat a Dusty Baker return. But... Thanks for watching. Bye for now.